I think the last thing we ever want to do is to disappoint passengers. What happens inside p and Cruises when there is a major customer service issue that comes up? Yeah, fortunately, we don't have to deal with that situation too often. Um, but when it does, we've absolutely got some well-rehearsed practices to try and um, alleviate those circumstances. So we've got teams around the business that are um, escalated at a moment's notice to deal with any incidents, depending on the size and the nature. Sometimes it might be a technical issue where we need to involve our technical teams and sometimes expertise from around the world, depending on the, the nature of the issue. Um, irrespective of whether it's technical or weather or whatever the incident is, the common theme is about communication. Um, and that means communication within P&O, so making sure that all the different teams that touch our customers know about the situation, are properly briefed, and have the confidence to give our customers the information that they require. So we have um, briefing teams for our customer service who are dealing in the call center. Um, we have briefings for our sales team who are talking to our travel agent community, um, as well as making sure that all the support areas are all going in the same direction to, to resolve that incident. Um, the other really, really important aspect, of course, is the external communication. So um, dealing with our customers and with our travel agents to give all the information that they need. So we'll use a variety of methods and techniques to get that information out to customers so that they're as informed as they can be about the situation and they can make their plans accordingly. Now one thing passengers sometimes comment on is that we send out you know, broadcasts, text messages and email messages. Why do we do that? We use that simply for speed. Um, customers have told us in the past that whilst they appreciate being phoned out person by person, in some circumstances they just want to know quickly. Um, so some passengers might be just about to start their travel towards the ship and they'd much rather know sooner than later. Um, and to call out 2,000 passengers does take time, even with a team of our size. So we'll often use SMS or auto call out to make sure that in very tight situations customers know exactly where they stand um, in a very quick time. And what's the reassurance of passengers uh, in terms of, they're disappointed, but uh, in terms of what we're doing to get them alternative uh, cruises, to get them on board as quickly as possible? Well, we have a team, um, an inventory team, and these are the team who, um, essentially, they look after where the space is on the cruises. Um, if we do have an incident, the first thing they'll do is to draw together where all the alternatives are and to make sure that that's communicated um, either to travel agents or to our teams directly. So that when we're talking to customers on the phone, um, although there's obvious disappointment, we can talk about alternatives and when they can ideally go away again so that we can give them that p &O experience that they're looking for. And obviously the passengers are the most important thing right from the start. Absolutely, absolutely. And all of us at p &O Cruises are really immensely proud of the experience that we give people um, year in, year out. And we know that that's only reliant if we keep on giving great service and if we keep making sure that we handle these situations um, in, in the best way possible. And um, fortunately, customers are telling us that we, we, we do that. So uh, we are all proud. Okay, thanks very much. Thank you.